Today on Fault Plane Review, we are back with some more Hogwarts Legacy. What else is there to say? We are here on part four or five. I can't remember. It's been, we did quite a few videos so far. I think we're finally about to be able to fly a broom, y'all. And I am hype. Yes, it looks like that. Who do you think will fall from that broom? Everybody grab a broom and we shall get stuck. <laughs> Let's go. We're finally going to be able to fly a broom. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hey. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? <laughs> now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Hey. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school oh. broom. Shoot, serious with that. Let's do that. Up. Hey, same energy. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. We would be the last one. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Let's go. Good. Oh. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do this take take care. Some getting used to. The brooms are school property. Wish I had my I own. I want broom. them returned in one piece. Oh, we're getting a new broom. Let's go. Come on, let me hit that turbo. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Yeah, come on, go fast. We're gonna hit that turbo. There we go. Hey. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds Wait. for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> hey, we, nice day for a fly! We lit. Yo, this is wild. Made it! Oh. Did anyone else see that? Yo. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Hit that turbo, yo. I wish we could put nitrous on our brooms, man. That'd be wild. There we go. Ooh. Whoa. Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Oh. 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 This is sick. Ha! Good. I've got this. Oh, this is sick. That's what's up. That was sick. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Hey. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. I'll take your passion. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window oh. today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? 
Oh. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. A bit claustrophobic for my taste. I wonder how high you can go. How is ever flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Uh, oh. <laughs> hey. Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Hit that boost on him. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. This is sick. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Oh. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. We're not. Chin up. That was some rather good she fly. Know. She knows what's up. We out here. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was lit. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Ah, hey. oh, new face. Wonderful. Revelio. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Mm, yeah, let's see. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. Please don't be expensive. Please don't be expensive. What are we looking for today? Oh, that's not bad. Oh, no, that's how much money I have. I'm broke. No. All right. I'm selling some stuff. Wait, what's that? Why is that identified head item? Take this to the room of requirement to reveal its qualities. All right. Ooh. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Hold on. Life come at you quick because I had a lot of money and then I bought those potions and now I'm broke. But let me make sure I got the necessary headgear. So, we ain't selling that. So, alright, we good. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Alright, let's. A broom and chance to celebrate your particular Hogwarts house pride. Uh, we are going to. Well, let's look at it first. That item is of the highest quality. Mm. Oh, comes with a light too. That item is of the highest Ooh, quality. I like that seat on that one.
that item is of the highest quality. <laughs> hey, this one's sick. Um, I think we're gonna go with the wind wisp room. I just like how I got a seat and the little uh lantern, a little that cool item effect. is of the highest quality. But this ember dash room is sick. Oof. You know what? We're gonna go with the wind wisp. I just like the seat. We're going with the wind wisp. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? I got you. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special prize. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm not hey. included. We lit. <laughs> Let's go. Oh man, this is crazy. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Hmm? Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Professor, but she's been giving me a lot of like weird vibes since the beginning of the game. Just her, her, her mannerisms and everything. A lot of weird vibes. But I guess that's what a Weasley does. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. So do it. Oh, let's see. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs. Oh, and other snap. Things that in is sick. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. We're just getting spells left and right. All right, here we go. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, I messed it up. I still got it. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. 
Vanishes items and returns Moonstone when cast within the removal requirement. There we go. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. I'm already ahead of you, Professor. Revelio. Anything I can pick up? Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Mm -hmm. Hey, I waited for you here. I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps is you were assigned a few more inches of goodness. parchment than you said. My me, old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Oh, dear. What the heck? Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to no. rest. Rebellion. I know I said this before, but I love how the pictures interact, bro. Just like the movie. It's freaking crazy. There's so much detail in this game. That's so great. My balls. What's in the chest? Oh, you know what? I gotta pull it out. Akio. Would you like a spot of tea? Would you like a spot of tea? Is there something I... I guess I need to... Oh, I see. We're gonna have to climb, I think. This isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop this! What? No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! <laughs> that offended the room. I thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. will come to you. <coughs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend. When I first saw the trailer, the I thought that was Dobby. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest.
given yourself quite a canvas to work with. Hey. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Oh yeah, I think we ah, should put our own like. And it seems the room has provided uh, you with a desk of description. Excellent. Ornaments and stuff. It can identify room. unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effect Rebellion. of which one is clothed. You have unlocked a desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any identified gear that you've collected. Tainted cloak. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Revelio. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now. I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. We just getting spells like no other, man. Let's go. All right, hit it, hit it, hit it. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Oh yeah, so we can do furniture. This is crazy. Small gothic potions with uh to do. Yo. Oh we can That's sick. Alright. Under a potting table. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Bro. Presuming, of course, you've collected this is any crazy. seeds I know or this potion game goes enough like this. in Hoxley That's crazy. or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. Over here. What up, boy? Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you.
first, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. He's not going to follow me. How did you find this place? My friend, oh. Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. Oh. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Revelio. Oh, big chest over here. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born oh, blind, yeah, that's the and no spell the beginning of the game. His wand seems almost sentient. He was blind. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again. Mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the blasting We're curse. We're about to get our dark magic Professors on. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely you here. That, it may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Oh. 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 You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep. The... Mm -hmm. Wait, where is it at? I don't see. Oh, it's right here. Let's do that. Tact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that it could bring them. Nice hey. work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. Let's go. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. 
This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to yeah, learn. Boy. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Sounds good. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Quick. Oh, who's that? Hello, Sebastian. Wait. Oh. You there. I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. I'm just lying to everybody well, in this I game. I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? Whoa, whoa. You breathe a word about this place to anyone. Not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need Bro, to. Bro, it was so nice to be in the game. What are he, he doing all this? You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Dang, bro. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. You do what you gotta do, bro. Bro used to be so nice and be in the game. He was just coming at my neck for no reason. All right, guys, we're going to end today's video right here. Thank you so much for tuning in to part four, five, I lost track of Hogwarts Legacy. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more and you like what you saw, hit the bell notification icon along with the subscribe button. You're supposed to subscribe first and the bell notification. <laughs> and then leave a thumbs up. Helps the channel a lot. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or night wherever you are in the world. Always remember, it's not that hard to be a good person. It's really not. Until next time, though.